TRA 3 meteorologist Dirk Verdorn. Yeah. He is timing out everything for us. That's what I'm noticing there. That's a beautiful drive it is. up the road there. We have 65 degrees currently in Sacramento. Look at those dark sky dark clouds. The skies are going to be dark because of the rain that's making its way through right now. Winds are fairly light, and that's another that's a good thing. At least the winds aren't too strong. So even though, yeah, we are getting the rain, it's not going to blow all your decorations all over the place. So from Sacramento to Stockton, where currently we have some rain that's been falling through the Stockton area, 65 degrees with north wind blowing at three miles per hour. Modesto. Mainly just the cloud cover has been working its way through the area. 69 degrees with the southeast wind blowing at 8 miles per hour. Fairfield, rain. Look at the wet roadways. We have 61 degrees. Southwest wind blowing at 10 miles per hour. Lake Tahoe, completely different picture. Look at this blue skies overhead. We have a few fair weather clouds. All the activities on the other side of the Sierra. We have southerly winds that are picking up at 24 miles per hour. Doppler showing us where the rain is. We had quite a downpour over San Francisco. Things are starting to break up just a bit, but more showers are expected. The bulk of the rain is now cutting across the valley. You can see near Yuba City, where we have some more moderate rainfall, also near Marys. Grass Valley. Nevada City is going to be getting some of that rain sliding a little bit farther south near Sacramento. There's some rain in West Sacramento currently and a bit of a break as you work your way down towards uh, Vacaville, but Fairfield currently getting the rain. Stockton also has had some rain and rain is moving towards Modesto, but these showers are all working their way from the south to the north and then this whole band is sliding across the valley and into the Sierra. So this is what's pushing it along. Nice pocket of cold air. As this moves through, it's going to give us our rain, but then we're going to see well, some of that moisture breaking up as we get more of a northerly flow. Futurecast showing us the direction to get all the showers. Heavier rain is going to be working its way over the mountains, so through the foothills and on into the Sierra. Another interesting feature here is as we go through the afternoon, this could be some possible thunderstorms popping up through the Sacramento Valley near Yuba City, Chico, and on toward Red Bluff and Redding. So that's going to be going through during the daylight hours. But as we go through the overnight, looks like most of that's going to calm down. But things will stay active in the mountains. And we'll see some accumulations of some of that heavier snow. Tomorrow morning, still some snow. This is where we could see that snow at the lowest levels as we head through early Saturday morning. Your Sierra weather, again, a bit of uh, rain and snow today. Temperatures. Well, we're already warming up a bit more than that Saturday. We'll have that snow mainly in the morning, and then we'll see that clearing out as we go through the afternoon. By Sunday, get more of a northerly flow, and that's going to really kind of dry things out, give us a bit more sunshine, and help to warm temperatures gradually. Seven-day forecast, today's daytime highs, well, we've already reached it more than likely with the cloud cover thickening up and the rain coming through. I don't expect much more of any kind of warming as we go through the day. Temperatures staying on the cool side through Saturday with some afternoon scattered showers possible, but by Sunday, all that's gone. We're looking at some sunshine. Temperatures warming into the upper 60s. We stay in that range near 70 degrees by Monday. We break out into the mid to low 70s as we head through the work week with more